Voters rallied in the battleground state of Michigan this afternoon as Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance makes a campaign stop on the west side of the state. Good evening. I'm Amaya Kuznicki. Ann is out on assignment. And I'm David Andrews. Thanks for joining us. J.D. Vance spoke to voters at Cordis Incorporated, a trucking company in Byron Center near Grand Rapids. News 10's Riley Connell was there, and tonight she reports on what Mr. Vance had to say to the crowd. Securing U.S. borders, cracking down on crime, and lowering costs for Americans. These are the priorities of the Trump campaign, according to vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance. And today on this stage in Byron Center, Michigan, he tried to convince Michigan voters that they can make it happen. We're going to take back the White House. We're going to restore American manufacturing. We're going to restore a whole country, and it's going to start right here in the state of Michigan. The clock is ticking for J.D. Vance and former President Donald Trump, with fewer than 90 days until Michigan voters cast their ballots in the presidential election. Speaking to the crowd in the small community of Byron Center, Vance criticized current policies by the Biden administration, claiming Vice President Kamala Harris's handling of border security is directly tied to high rates of inflation. And then they overran the country with tens of millions of illegal aliens. Now, you bring in 30 million people and you weaken the dollar, that is how you get the inflation crisis that we have. While Vance pulls focus to what he believes are failures of Democratic leadership, supporters of Vice President Harris are trying to warn voters about the dangerous Project 2025 agenda, a plan Senator Debbie Stabenow says would become reality under a Trump administration. They're incredibly dangerous in their agenda, like the national abortion ban and taking away all of our reproductive freedoms. But there's a whole lot else that's in there from effectively ending Social Security and Medicare and children's health insurance, for example. Vance left members in the crowd with a message to get up and vote and cast their ballots in November for Donald Trump. But whether they follow suit will remain to be seen. In Byron Center, Riley Connell, News 10. In a recent social media post, former President Donald Trump said he would debate Vice President Kamala Harris on NBC, possibly in Grand Rapids. However, the Harris campaign has only agreed to one debate so far on September 10th. No location has been officially announced. A live look over Lansing tonight, a warm day in the capital city.